So our next sample is going to be the French seamed sleeve. So we're setting in a sleeve and we're going to use the French seaming technique to make it all clean and neat on the inside. So I have my back little half bodice piece with my tailor tack with two notches for the sleeve. I have my front with my single tailor tack notch. Um, those are gonna go together like this. And then I have my sleeve and I've got the double notches here, single notch here, and my um, the top of the sleeve marked here. So the first step in this process um, is we're going to sew the shoulder together on the body pieces. Now in this particular sample, we're going to actually sew the underarm seam and the side seam of the body in one um, in the very last step. So that way we're going to um, kind of sew this on a little differently than you might have sewn a sleeve on before. So the first step is to do this in a French seam across the shoulder. So remember, you're gonna to wanna to do a wrong side to wrong side first, stitch it a quarter, and then trim and iron, and then stitch face to face at that quarter. So we get that nice French seam. Again, if you need to pin this, do so. Um, it's such a short little section, but because it does move so much, I do like to pin things a little bit more because everything likes to move around a little bit. I'm going to trim this and press this open and we'll come back and stitch the other side. All right, so I've got this, um, the shoulder seam, you know, pressed open. I trimmed that down, got it pressed back. So now I'm going to stitch across here at a quarter to finish that. So the shoulder seam is ready. I'll press that open. And now we have, I'll do a quick finger press for the video. Um, so the next step is going to be to actually sew this sleeve on, and then we'll finish this out at the very end. So I need to actually do an ease stitch on this top edge between the notches so they can ease that in here. There's gonna be a few gathers um, because you can see there's more ease than I can kind of fit in there to match those notches. So I'm going to lengthen my stitch and then I'm going to sew an ease stitch across here between the notches. I'm going to do it at a, a skinny half. So just inside that half inch. Um, actually, I'm going to sew it at a quarter. Sew this one at a quarter. Make your life a little easier. So we're going to sew this basting stitch at a quarter. doesn't have to be super pretty. Try to keep it pretty even. All right. So now I've got this stitch here and I can pull on this thread and get that gather and that easing in the top of the sleeve. So I'm gonna go press this and get this ready to pin this together. All right, so I have this pressed. Now I'm ready to pin this together to get our first stitch in. So remember, this is going to be wrong side to wrong side. So I've got this finished nicely. We're gonna actually stitch this together like this because the second stitch is going to be face to face and all of this edge is going to be encased in that. So remember which order you're going. So 
wrong side to wrong side. It's a little bit tricky too whenever you have um, materials that look the same on both sides. So the what I'm going to start with is the top of the sleeve matching the shoulder seam. So I've got the notch on the sleeve matching there. Next I'm going to go match up these notches here. And once you have this pinned, you can always take out these tailor tacks if they're in your way. So once I get this first pin in here, now if you're afraid you're going to, um, you know, lose the pin, you can leave those in a little bit longer. But you might want to take these out before you get to, before you actually stitch that together. Pin this side. So matching notches. And then this will connect here. I've got that here and then this here. So I'm going to take my time to pin this together. The key part too is here is that you're going to need to use that basting stitch to pull that sleeve and even those gathers out so that it fits here. So take your time, make them even. You don't want all the gathers or the, the uh, easing on one side and then watch out for the way the bias moves keep that seam allowance correct this notch to notch here. I'll do notch to notch here on this side. This is a little easier to control than trying to sew in the sleeve, as I said, and sleeve the whole circle at a time, um, especially doing a French sleeve with a, a French seam type finish. So this will make that a little bit easier to do it this way. Leave that there. So if you have these little areas where you feel like it's not matching up perfectly, make sure you're letting the fabric lay neatly and that you're not accidentally pulling the bias because you've got a lot of bias happening here. So make sure that you're kind of listening to the fabric and where it's wanting to lay and where it's wanting to go um, before you just assume that it doesn't, doesn't fit. Okay, so I've got this all pinned from underarm to underarm. So now I'm going to stitch the first stitch, which is a quarter an inch. I'm going to take my time because I've got some gathers going on. All right, so I'm ready to sew this. Sew this um, from underarm to underarm, sleeve to the body at a quarter inch seam allowance. And this is wrong side to wrong side. Going to be tempting on this section to sew over your pins, but with this 
dainty material, it's really better not to. So really, it's, it's not very safe either. You know, it can break the needle and the needle can fly into your face. So you shouldn't be doing it anyway, but it is tempting to want to leave those pins in to control everything. So really try to avoid it. I'm gonna grab these little tailor tacks and pull those out so they don't get caught in the stitching. And then take your time over these gathers, or the ease stitching, so you get a smooth stitch here. Pull those out. Make sure you follow a true quarter inch, don't follow your basting stitch if your basting stitch is uneven. Mine's a little uneven, so I'm not making sure not to follow that. You need to stop and lift up the foot to kind of move those ease um, sort of bumps out of the way. You can always do that. You don't have to rush through it. Take your time. It's better to get it perfect the first time than have to go back and try to take stitches out and redo stitches. All right, so the next step, I'm going to press this seam, trim it down um, like we do with the French seam. Um, so that these edge raw edges don't get stuck through on the other side and then we're going to do the second stitch. So I'm going to go press this and do that. So I've we've done our first stitch here at a quarter. I've removed the uh, basting stitch. You can get all of that, that out of there. So I've removed that um, and then I've also uh, I've trimmed that down so it's just under a quarter. I've also pressed this really nicely. So I pressed the seam allowance open and then I pressed it back because our next stitch is going to be folding this back and stitching in a quarter. So in this area, especially where it's um, we've got our gathers or our basting, um, our ease zone, I've pressed it really nicely back. I used the ham and I took my time to make sure that's really nicely done. That way we can control this a little bit better. I'm gonna carefully pin. That way we don't pull and get these sewn together in sort of a caddy, uh, an off kind of way here. So I'm gonna do a couple of pins to keep this nice and straight as we sew. And then we'll just do that second stitch. You can see this is a lot easier to control um, and you know, doing it this way and not doing the underarm seam yet. All right, so I've got some pins to kind of control where I'm sewing there. Don't need a ton, just a few. Um, also, you know, you can sew with the sleeve on the bottom because you know you've got a little bit of ease there, and we know that the bottom of the underneath the foot, the, the, the feed dog is going to pull that a little bit better for us. So um, we're going to put that underneath and then we'll sew this at a quarter. So back stitch here. And take your time here so that Got a smooth seam. We'll go over that. Make sure that that the seam allowance of the shoulder doesn't get pulled to um, the front. Okay, so now we have 
a really nicely done little shoulder here. Okay, so the last step, we want to press that really nicely. So we've got that seam allowance encased on the inside, just like the shoulder seam. We've got a nice clean front. So the last step is to sew the underarm. So we've got the sleeve underarm and then the underarm which moves into the side of the body. So I'm gonna go do a press on this area here and then we'll do this last part. All right, so I've got this seam, I've got the press in the shoulder seam there and the sleeve seam. So the last step is this underarm seam. So the first stitch is obviously, as always, we're going to do um, wrong sides to wrong sides and then we'll do the second stitch and turn that inside. Um, the key thing here is that we've got the seam allowance. So which way do we need to press this seam allowance? The way that this is um, best done is to actually press one side to the inside and one side to the outside. That way there's less bulk. So you can see that. So you're still crossing those seams at the same spot, but you've got one seam allowance going one way and one going the other way. So we'll cross that there. And then that's just less bulk, because if you have them both going the same way, you'll just have a nice big, um, you'll have a bump there, because uh, you'll have a lot of layers of fabric trying to intersect. This way you don't get that, that dramatic bump there. And if this were, a, you know, a full-size garment, this would probably go all the way to the hem. Make sure you're careful with seam allowance here. And again, as with everything, the more accurate you are at each step, the more all of these things will line up beautifully when you get to this stage. All right, so I'm gonna stitch this at a quarter. Got those seam allowances going opposite directions so that there's less bulk. Like this. I'll do my trim here. So it's just under that quarter inch. We don't have, because if we sewed that, trimmed it, all of that would be sticking out to the front of the garment. So we want to trim all of that off. I'm going to press this back and we'll sew the last stitch. All right, so I've now pressed this. I've got this inside out now because now we have right side to right side here. Press that back. And here you can very clearly see how those seam allowances are going opposite directions. Press this. We're going to do our last quarter inch stitch here. Mm -hmm. Flip your threads. And we've got that clean finished seam allowance on the inside. We've got that under the arm. So we'll do that final press there. And then I'll show you that finished piece. So here's the final little uh, sample here. We've got our finished shoulder seam. We've got the sleeve and we've got French seams on all of those finishes. So I'll turn this inside out. So we've got French seam at the shoulder, French seam on the sleeve, and then the arm, the sleeve, underarm, and the body. And that way you have a really nice clean finish on all of those edges. And remember to work on making sure all of those seam allowances are really even, because you'll see those just a little bit through the garment, um, but it gives a really nice clean finish on all those edges in a sheer garment.